Hey everybody, so today I'm back again with another Cureless video, and back with part 3, where we'll be ranking the aliens introduced in Ultimate Alien. Ultimate Alien isn't really one of my top series, I think Omniverse I like better. Hey Jerry, that's Jerry, from Inhuman Resources. But then again, I haven't watched Omniverse since, like, it ended. <laughs> Maybe my preference will change, but I don't know, I'm rewatching Ultimate Alien as we speak, or as the video is coming out, so it might actually change, but I don't think it will. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, first of all, we got Water Hazard. I really like the name Water Hazard. I mean, it fits him so perfectly. A hundred times better than Overflow. Overflow is such a lazy ass alien. Water Hazard, definitely better than Overflow. Water Hazard is pretty cool, has the face shield thing, and can shoot water, obviously. Anyway, he's got pretty solid powers on his pretty strong overall. I would say he's a solid B tier. I like Amphibian. I think the voice is a little annoying. Amphibian! And the transformation sequence is a little strange. I remember Amphibian from the Cosmic Destruction game. I always would turn into Amphibian just because, but I think it's on the same lines as Water Hazard where it's the Dagon aliens that are like pretty solid but not overly powerful. Also B tier. Armadrillo, I love Armadrillo. I, uh, I love the design, the power is just really cool. Pretty solid alien overall. A tier. Terra Spin. I like the idea that when he spins so fast that it makes a gust of wind. That's like a really cool power to me for some reason. I'd say solid A tier. Okay, the last of the Dagon aliens. I like energy. I like the mystery around his suit and everything until he gets revealed that he is literally like an atomic bomb of radiation. I don't know really what to say about energy. I think he's with amphibian and water hazard. Now, Fast Track, I despise Fast Track. Accelerate is way better. I know Fast Track is supposed to be slow, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyway, if you like Fast Track, you're a lame person, D tier. Now, Clockwork, I don't know. I don't remember that much about Clockwork. He just, have, he just has time power. He has time powers, that's the simplest way to explain it. His powers are awesome. I mean, he literally has time powers. I don't know what else you want me to say. I mean, God. Edel. I don't really like Edel, like, at all. I think his design is boring, power is boring, and his face is boring. C tier. Jerry Rig. His design in UA is completely ugly, but Omniverse I think perfected his design. And I think he's a pretty funny and cool character. He's taking apart the brakes! What kind of superpower is that? I think he's a good B, B tier character. On to the ultimate form. Ultimate Swamp Fire, first of all. I'm not a big fan of Ultimate Swamp Fire. I think his head is kind of bulky. I think they could have done way better with his design. Uh, I like the color palette that they used. I imagine Ultimate Heat Blast would have had kind of the same color pal palette as him. I would say it's a solid A tier. Okay, guys, I just decided something really quickly. I'm going to add another row above, and it will be called Ultimate God Tier. This is where, like, oh, I spelled ultimate wrong. Whoopsie. This is where a lot of people like Alien X and Clockwork and Way Big will go. Okay, next. Ultimate Spider Monkey. I do not like the design, but I mean it makes sense for a spider monkey. Uh, the web thing is pretty cool where he can shoot more webs out of his mouth. But I think he would be the same tier as Ultimate Swamp Fire. The first ultimate form used in the whole series. Meet Ultimate you. Anyway, Ultimate Humongousaur got the cannons, pretty cool cannons. I think his overall tail and like his just strength is way better than normal Humongousaur. He's really stronger than Humongousaur and Humongousaur is an A tier, so I think he deserves to be in God tier. Ultimate Big Chill is useless. B tier. Ultimate Echo Echo, I think, goes in Ultimate God tier. Now, Ultimate Echo Echo is so powerful, it's not even funny. Okay, Ultimate Cannonball. I despise Ultimate Cannonbolt. There's no point of him. The Ink Tank video where they changed where they changed his ultimate form was way better. So I think Ultimate Cannonbolt goes in Ultimate God tier. I think that makes sense. Just kidding. D tier. Ultimate way big. I hate the design so much. I think they could have done way better. I mean he's pretty powerful. Literally took down Dagon. So I mean it makes sense if I put him in Ultimate God tier. 
ultimate wild knight d tier most useless ultimate form so anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later